All right, finally picked one of these whale tails up. This is the SE Sport 300 Hydrofoil. In this video, I'll show you some quick tips on installing it. You could pick these up on Amazon for like 70 bucks. I found this one on Facebook Marketplace for $35. I really didn't want white, but $35 can't really complain too much. Some of the benefits they say you're gonna get are quicker planing, which is what I'm after. I'm putting this on a 1998 Sea Ray 215 Express Cruiser, and especially when I have a few people on the boat, it's really hard to get up on plane. It doesn't have trim tabs on it. I'm gonna see if this thing makes a difference. Uh, they say it saves fuel, so that's nice because I got a 350 Merc Cruiser that kind of eats fuel. <laughs> They say this one's rated the fastest. I've heard with these whale tails, you can lose a mile or two an hour on your top end. They say it also wipes out cavitation and that the exclusive turbo track helps stability and control in your steering. So let's see how it works. On this version, you do have to drill into your stern drive. They also make one that you don't have to drill and you can just clamp it on there. Uh, I've seen them before and I don't think they're quite as streamlined. There's like these bulky clamps on the bottom that hang down right there on your stern drive plate. So this one I got cheap. We're going to drill some holes. All right, my 1998 Sea Ray 215 Express Cruiser. Not the prettiest boat in the world. She's got some bumps and bruises. And here is our Alpha One. We're going to be putting that on. I'm not too concerned with drilling into this because somebody actually did a welded repair onto this fin uh, a while back. So it's kind of actually be going to be covering that up a little bit, which is good. The instructions say you're going to need a drill with a quarter inch or nine thirty seconds bit, a number three Phillips, a marker, and a eleven millimeter or seven sixteenths wrench or socket. Begin by positioning this over here, and you know what, I'm going to just eye it up. They say bottom it out right onto here and make sure it doesn't elevate at all, so just to where it bottoms out there. And then line it up straight where you want it by using this notch up here and your space is in the back. Once it's lined up where you want, take your marker and mark dead center, which this marker doesn't fit in the hole. I'm going to use a center punch and a hammer instead. So I'll go ahead and drill that hole out with my quarter inch. Now I'm going to slip one bolt in to hold it in place and then I'll mark my other hole. For the front holes, this is kind of in your way for drilling. So they give you this template here. All right, it says fold up on here. So if I bring this to the bottom and I line the bottom holes up, then I can mark my other ones from underneath and drill them from the bottom. Of course, the prop is in the way of drilling that. So let me get my angle drill. And with our holes drilled, we're ready to install it. The longer bolts go in the rear. They say you can put the bolts in uh, upwards or downwards. It doesn't really matter. Now the thicker washers go in the back, and the thinner washers sit up front. Cool, they all lined up good. Now let's put our hardware on the bottom, washer, and then nut. Snug those down. And there is the final installation. Nice, straight, and true. When you tighten these down, you just snug them and then go an extra quarter turn to squish the rubber a little bit. Don't over torque them. One thing worth noting, the clamp on the hydrofoils, they have these bulky clamps on the bottom. And that, in my opinion, could give you some unwanted turbulence down here. And after looking at this, I think I might in the future flip these screws upside down so the taper and the pan heads on the bottom and then the nut would be recessed in here. Either way, I'm sure it doesn't make a huge difference. Alrighty, and the whale tail is performing excellent. Out for a nice night cruise, beautiful sunset tonight. Tomorrow I'll bring it out and get some real hard numbers on how much it increased my performance. And full throttle roll on, trimmed down with the whale tail on.
off and see what it does. Probably gonna drop the stainless steel hardware in the river, I'm sure. Definitely a beautiful night out here on the river. Now on our way up to Trenton to meet a few friends over at Cooper's Riverview. Please keep in mind these are rough numbers and there are a ton of variables. We had two people on the boat, a full tank of fuel, water tanks full. We had the tide behind us so that's going to increase our GPS speed by maybe a mile or two an hour. And we did do several pulls with it on and with it off. So take these numbers as you like them. They're not dead accurate. Overall, I can tell you that the fin does increase the drivability of the boat and the overall feel. I like the way it feels. Not something this video is going to capture. Now, I'm sure you noticed that the trim down top speed was actually 0.8 miles an hour less. Nobody cruises with their trim down. I just recorded this number for reference. It tells me that the hydrofoil is actually doing its job and it's pushing that the bow of the boat down into the water, which is actually decreasing the top speed with the trim all the way down. So that's good to see that that number dropped. And the fact that we saw a 1.5 mile an hour gain on the top end kind of blew me away. Everybody's always told me you're going to lose top speed with these, but you can see in this video that wasn't the case and it definitely had a better feel at the top end. If you want to pick one of these up, I highly suggest them. I'll put a link in down below. I want to thank my buddy Richard for helping me out with this video. You can check out his YouTube link down below. It's Blimmer87. And until next time, this is KZGuy2 here. No nonsense, no how. Hope it helped you out. I'll see you later.